chapter number 12 the life cycle the additional questions from this chapter and the first question is fill in the blanks the first question is from page 147 of your textbook dna copies generated are dash but not dash to the original the answer is dna copies generated are similar but not identical to the original you can mark this question in your textbook or write it down with the correct spellings of the answers the second question is from page 147 itself only dash parent is involved in asexual reproduction in which cells divide dash the answer is only one parent is involved in asexual reproduction in which cells divide mitotically look at the answers one and mitotically the third question from the same page 147 mitosis occurs in dash cells the answer is somatic cells mitosis occurs in somatic cells the fourth question from page 149 during unfavorable conditions amoeba withdraws its dash and becomes almost round the answer is pseudopodia this fill in the blank is picked up from page 149 of your textbook be careful about the spelling as in the textbook pseudopodia so you completed during unfavorable conditions amoeba withdraws its pseudopodia and becomes almost round the fifth question from same page 149 in budding a small outgrowth is formed on dash cell the answer is parental cell sixth question from page 151 mold forms spores inside a dash the answer is sporangium so we say mold forms spores inside a sporangium so these are the first six additional fill in the blank questions from this chapter make a note of these or mark them in your textbook children we go to next set of questions the seventh one dash sheep was the first mammal to be cloned from an adult cell rather than an embryo the answer the name of that sheep sheep children is dolly dolly sheep answer is dolly if on page number 152 on page 153 the eighth question dash is the receptive organ on which pollen germinates the answer is stigma stigma is the receptive organ on which pollen germinates on the same page next question dash is the solen lower part of carpel the answer is ovary so it completes ovary is the solen lower portion lower part of carpel <clears throat> the 10th question on the same page this page 153 stamen is made up of two parts dash and dash the answer is anther and filament so stamen is made up of two parts anther and filament 11th question on page 155 and after fertilization zygote divides several times to form an dash the answer is embryo the 12th and the 13th one from page 154 anther produces dash the answer is pollen grains so we complete anther produces pollen grains 13th filament is dash of anther filament is stalk s t a l k stalk of anther so just make note of the questions or mark them and the correct answers with the spellings which should be correct
children the next set of fill in the blanks on page 154 14th question pollen tube travels through the dash to reach ovary the answer is style pollen tube travels through the style to reach the ovary 15th question from the same page dash serves as nutritive tissue for the growing embryo the answer is endosperm endosperm serves as the nutritive tissue for the growing embryo on the same page the 16th question second male gamete fuses with dash to form endosperm the answer is secondary nucleus <clears throat> So the second male gamete fuses with the secondary nucleus to form endosperm. The 17th question on page 154, the process of transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma is called dash. The answer is pollination. <clears throat> on page 155, after fertilization, ovule develops into a dash and ovary develops into a dash. Ovule develops into a seed and ovary develops into a fruit. So here you have after fertilization ovule develops into a seed and ovary into a fruit. 19th question dash and dash are main reproductive organs of male reproductive system. The question comes on page 156. The answer is testis and penis so give a look at these questions please mark them in your textbooks with the correct answers